Hello there, my name is Andrew Michael, and welcome to the Venice built by Miranda Homes. This home is in the small community of Creekside Landing. In total, when this community is done, there will be 32 homes. So who this home is for, or homes in this community are for, is the person who doesn't want the CDD fees. They don't need the amenities. There really is no amenities in this community, actually. Um, you are, though, about 30 minutes to the beach. You're about 10 to 15 minutes from all the shopping and restaurants and things of Yuli. And you get some breathing room from your neighbors. So the home is located in HOA, so there are HOA covenants and restrictions, but you do get some breathing room. Like when you go to Nocatee or Silverleaf or any of those homes, you know, you're looking at around 10 to 15 feet, sometimes a little bit more depending on the house, but 10 to 15 feet uh, between neighbors. Here, you actually have a pretty decent space. So this is the Venice. It has four bedrooms, three bathrooms. It's just under 2,700 heated square feet. It does have a three car garage. In theory, this home right now costs $459,000, but that's just the home. Uh, normally, from what the site agents have told me, most buyers actually spend around $510,000 on this home. And one of the advantages too, we actually just sold a home in this community, our team, and our buyer was able to get a great deal, including a lower interest rate. So if that's something that appeals to you, definitely reach out to us. Now with all that out of the way, let's go take a look at the Venice. Here we go. So here we are at the Venice. And I asked this on all my videos, so I'll ask it again. Where are you? And meaning what city and state are you in? Or if you're in a different country, we do get that too sometimes. And what is the weather? So I am in unincorporated Callahan in Creekside Landing. The weather's been beautiful, but as you can see, I'm living on bar time because I've got a thunderstorm rolling in. So all right, so here we are at the Venice. And again, like I said inside, the big draw to this community is going to be the larger yards and the spaces. However, not all the large, but not all the yards are super large. So you definitely want to check that out. And yeah, there you go. So I'm gonna point out this is hardy board, which is like a concrete product. Also, the homes in this community, all right, there's the, the roadway. All the homes in this community are on what's well and septic. So there is no sewer line here. And the drain fields in this community, if you're not familiar with Northeast Florida, they're kind of above the ground. And the reason is we have such a low water table. So I'm gonna show you exactly what that looks like. So here we go. That's the best as I could do. Um, like a duck or something. Uh, anyway, so here we are. I am standing on top of the drain field. You know, you can stand on top of it. You just can't build a structure. Let's go take a look at the house. We are inside, okay. So in addition to being the model home for the community, it's also the site agents in the builder's office. So you're gonna see them as we go through. All right, here we go. All right, so when you walk in, you've got a full bathroom over here. Also too, one of the nice things about this builder is what you see is what you get. Um, I always cringe taking potential buyers into model homes because they see all this stunning stuff and they find out that's not what they're getting. But with this builder, you don't really run into that. Um, yeah, I mean, some things may be upgrades, but by and large, what you see here is probably how most people would build their house. But all right. Okay, so this is currently Robert's office, but normally it would be a bedroom. I guess you've got a closet over here. There you go. And yeah, so this would be the front bedroom. And then over here, we have a second bedroom. Hello, sir. Hey there, how you doing? Good. So what they did with this, this is a bedroom and it's the builder's office. But I guess you could pick like your, your cabinet colors, your backsplash, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then we've got flooring over here. Here you go. Now, obviously, Miranda Homes would only put their best looking builder right here in this office for our videos, so. <laughs> I got your tip later. Thank you, brother. All right, man. <laughs> so here we go. So you've got two bedrooms over here, bathroom. Now let's kind of keep walking. Oh, you know, it's funny what I just realized is this is the same exact home we just sold down the street. Cool, all right, so here we are. And it always looks different when it's a 
model and it's furnished. So here we go. So this is a normal three car garage. You got your water heater over there. This is not a gas community, meaning there is no natural gas piped into the, into the community here. All right, so let's keep going. This is an AC closet. Don't need to show you that. Okay, so here's a laundry room. Actually, this is a little different than the one we sold. So here's a laundry room. What I like about this one, you've got your, your dryer here, your washer here, sink over here, and you've got a big area where you can fold laundry, you know, put stuff away. Like my laundry room, you don't have all of this, so everything's just out in the open for everybody to see. I definitely like how they did it. And we've got a, another room. So we have seen three bedrooms thus far. There you go. Uh, you've got a walk-in closet over here, and then you've got another bathroom. Oh, come on, fellas, put the toilet seats down. And you've got another bathroom over here. This bedroom would probably be either if you have a favorite child, meaning they've got their own bathroom. I'm only sort of kidding. Or uh, if you have company, maybe you have uh, like your, you know, the doll, your, your, your mom, your dad, or your in-laws or somebody like that stays with you, extended stay, that kind of thing. This would be a good setup because they've got their own bathroom. Bedroom's big enough, they can put a TV over here. Kind of got their own little area. So everybody's not on top of everybody. All right, so just so we don't get confused, that was the door when we walked in. Here you've got the two bedrooms and bathroom. Then you've got a third bedroom and another bathroom and the laundry room. And now here we are. You've got a, a dining area over here, living area, and then you've got the kitchen. It is vented out of the house, which is nice. And this is a really large kitchen. One of the nice things with this is it has a lot of space. This is granite. It has a lot of space. So if you like to cook, you like to have people over, you can put over like trays of food across over here, easy access uh, to the little nine, the outdoor areas. And yeah, you can definitely put a lot of stuff over here. Room for appliances, you know, air fryers or whatever. And you've got your pantry. There you go, which is a decent size. All right, so, so, so far we have seen three bedrooms and two bathrooms. Now we're gonna go look at the owner's retreat. Wow, this is big. One of the nice things is too, I'm just gonna kind of pan over and just kind of show you just so we don't get confused. Here's the living area. And you've got, they did a dining table over here. This has just got like a little light, but a lot of people would put like some sort of chandelier. Put your dining table over there, unless you wanted it over on the other side. Now the cool thing is, so if you're out here in the living room, you go here and you make a 90 degree turn, which is nice, so people in the living room cannot see your bedroom. So I like how they did that. All right, so here we go. That is a king size bed. And this room is huge. For a house in this price point, I'm not used to seeing it this big. Got a huge tub. It's nice. You've got a shower, got a walk-in shower, it's really large. It has the rain shower head, it's got a bench, it's cool. And you turn the corner, you have your water closet. Or toilet, whichever one you like to call it. And you come over here into the closet. And the last thing we're gonna take a look at is the outdoor living area. I don't know why, but model homes always have two things. Actually, this one doesn't have one of them. It has like a gift bag and it usually has a, a bathrobe. This one does not have a bathrobe. I will talk to Robert about that. He needs to get a bathrobe in here. Seems like every model home I go in has those two things. Let's go check out the outdoor area. All right, so you've got all the sliders here, which is nice because it has good flow from the kitchen. All right, so you've got three lights up here, LED lights, 
it's already screened in. I, I would definitely put ceiling fans out here. This video is being filmed in July and it is way too friggin' hot. There you go. Yeah, it does have a nice outdoor living area. And again, I'll kind of show you that each lot's a little bit different, but I will show you. One of the other things too that's different here is it has Bahia grass. This is the grass that's on the side of the road and stuff like that, as opposed to St. Augustine grass that you used to seeing in the master plan communities. Why is that? Well, if you have a one acre yard, it is almost impossible to keep a St. Augustine grass. Yes, I realize we're in St. Augustine or very close to it from this house. Uh, but the St. Augustine grass requires tons of chemicals and all this stuff. You have like a one or two acre yard, you're not gonna be able to keep all that up. So that's why they have Bahia. It does take some upkeep, but nothing like St. Augustine does. So whenever you go to like a one acre yard or stuff like that, that's usually what you're gonna see. And to give you an idea how big the property line is here, yeah, the storm is coming. All right, so I'm right about now, I'm on the property line. So you have all of this space. If you were to own this house, and you probably have like an equal amount of space going that way to the other house. So you definitely have some breathing room here. So there you go, what do you think? Are you willing to trade the amenities and all the stuff and the knockatees and the silver leaves and all that stuff for a large yard? Throw a comment down below, I'd be curious. Also too, this home is obviously on our channel for model home tours. We have a playlist dedicated to homes with one acre yards. So definitely check those videos out. And if you're not interested in something like this, or you, you don't know, then definitely check out our other playlists. We have Nocatee, we have Silverleaf, and we're always adding to them. So, and now on the sister channel, we have, um, you know, like pros and cons, different tips, things about relocating to our area, tour the uh, businesses, stuff like that. So stuff beyond what the homes look like, just, you know, information you would need before you move here. So definitely check that channel out too. And then of course we have that divided in the playlist as well. And of course, also if you're looking to make a smooth transition to Northeast Florida, definitely reach out to us, phone numbers down below, and give us a call, shoot us a text, whatever works best for you. Thank you very much. My name is Andrew Michael. I appreciate your time and I look forward to meeting you in person. Take care.